All right, here we are. I'm going to show you quickly a uh, star stuff layout, uh, a couple of quick things with the pages application. Uh, we're, right now we're in pages, as you can see. And if I go to view, I can go down here and say show inspector. It will bring up this dialog box. Of course, I want to select the right um, an object. And you'll see here this shows me information on the metrics here. So here I have this little metric button. This shows me the size of the various photos, <coughs> excuse me, or captions. We can see the actual requirement of the photo or the photo, how we scaled it in this particular uh, image. Hang on one minute here. Hmm. Sorry about that. I had to get a cough drop. For some reason, I have a dry cough all of a sudden. So anyways, that's one thing. We have the, uh, the display here. You can display facts about the... Uh, metrics in this in this case with this view. Now if we also look here at view we have a thing called show rulers which we can click here under view and it actually shows me the the layout and it, I think the default is inches so this shows me that this is an eight and a half by eleven document which is the default layout that we're using. So you can see the inch ruler here. So this is basic layout. As you can see um, you know this is a halfway mark point for you can see uh, sometimes with some of these layouts here, let me show you. Let me go and turn on the view for this. The ruler on this document. We can see that this is about the center of the columns. If we have a two column, I, I have a, I, I, you, you, could, you, can, you can actually change these margins slightly, but I try to keep them consistent between pages. So you can see in this case, since I only had one column and I put a bunch of uh, pictures on this side, I cheated a bit to make the images a little bit bigger and um, actually, since I had the original images, and I was actually submitting the images, I uh, stretched them out a bit, made them a little bit bigger than a half a page here. This would be an example of an oversized image. It's good to try to keep the images within the size of the uh, print area, which a, a good uh, way of knowing what the, uh, a print area that seems to work pretty well for us is um, these header sizes here. As you can see down here, I made a composite photograph, and it's really a little bit narrower. I created this separately and imported it in, but uh, this was something that was uh, something I could put at the bottom here. So basically, that shows you you can and to like select say I want to select this image. If I want to know what the actual size is, either in this document, in Pages or in uh, at least on the Macintosh for this document or for um, let's say. Um, a PDF. I just make sure that we are zoomed out to 100%, and then I take a screenshot. And when I take that screenshot, and then I open that up, let me find the screenshot here. It's going to be on my desktop. Here we see the screenshot. Now, if I take that and I crop that image to cut and paste. It will tell me what the size is, and this is basically to get the standards. I mean, I'm really interested only in the widths, not the heights. You know, within reason, I don't really care about if which which picture is higher than the other. You know, there's going to be a standard height probably if there's a standard perspective, but it might be cropped by the person that submitted it. And in my case, in most in mo with most photos that I'm I'm supplying, uh, I, I might crop them a bit, but I usually have them uh, crop shot the way I want them. So in this case here, I have a, I've taken and I've, I've, I'm doing a copy of this, and I'm going to go, since I'm in preview looking at this as a screenshot, I'm going to say new from clipboard. It brings up the image, and when I go to, you know, in this pro program, when I go here and I look for uh, the inspector tool, it should show me. Hmm. In theory, it will show me that. It is in the past. I'm not sure why it's not wanting to do that now. There it is again. All right. I had to select it a second time. I don't know why. Sometimes that doesn't. Sometimes I'm not getting the metadata, but I, I am now. So this is showing me the uh, width and height, as you can see. Here's the width. Is a uh, 536 points and the height is 136 in height 
but of course it could have been higher, you know, depending. Obviously, I scaled this accordingly the way I wanted to have it presented. Um, the same thing would be true for these other ones. Now, it's important to note note that when I did the screenshot, I had this set at 100%. I do that with the PDF because I'm getting a, a shot of the screen, and since the screen is 72 DPI, and the source images are going to be always 72 DPI because that just works the best for compression and, and overall printing and everything. It's just, it gives you enough quality. Um, we can do 100% screenshot and determine the exact size fairly close, you know, of the exact size of the image. It might be a couple pixels off depending on how I crop it. And I could also zoom in now that this is a screenshot. If I want to take this screenshot, of course I can't zoom in here, I have to zoom in. Let me get it, let me look at this. I'll just go up here to view. I can zoom in obviously. I can just do this command plus, zoom in and look at the size of this. You know, how close was I when I grabbed this? You know, so it won't it won't matter when I'm cutting and pasting the graphic once it's in the screenshot format. I can be very precise here. See I can see the size very precisely. Now that it's a screenshot. The important thing is the original was 100%, not, not how I'm treating it afterwards in determining the size. This is only for determining the size. So here you can see, you know, look, and this is showing me, what does this show me? Hmm. Interesting. Let's try this out, make sure I'm right here. Go to a new, from clipboard. There it is, the same document, basically. And what is the, uh, you know, with this inspector window, what is it? 535 wide. Why? You know what? What resolution is this at? You know, and if I zoom in, you know what is it? Doesn't matter now because I'm not taking a screenshot. You know, this isn't my source image. This is what I'm using as a reference image now. So I think I've talked about this long enough. So this is how you can determine sizes. I can also give you a quick example if if you want one. I mean, the PDF would be the same thing. I basically scale to 100%, take a screenshot. Since my display is set at 72 dpi on my monitor, it's going to give me an image, you know, different images. Here's some past images, you know, examples where I take a screenshot and then looked at that image and I found out how wide it was. And this was at 100 dpi, as you can see down there. So, anyways, that's hopefully that'll answer questions. I think we, we are done now. I think we've talked about uh, photo sizes a lot longer than we need to in emails, so I'll stop with that.